So first, I want to thank you all once again. This is our second webinar, wellness webinar, winter wellness webinar. And I want to thank all of you who are back. And I also want to welcome some new people. I'm not sure who iPad 3 is, but welcome. And Elizabeth is new to us. She has been invited by Ami. Welcome. And let's see. Uh, can, is there somebody below? Because I have full screen right now. So I have Pam and Abby here today. Pam and Abby. Yay, welcome back, you two. Abby, did you get your your um, gift? I can't remember what it was you won. I think you won two things. On guard time. spray. On guard spray. Okay, did I send her a 5ML2 or was that, Ami, was that your person? Beverly? Yes, yes. Oh, she received okay. her gifts. Thank you. Okay, great. Prices. All right. So Abby did get her on guard spray that we know of. Yes, she got it. Okay, I can see it. Yay, Abby. Woohoo. By the way, if for some reason anybody returns and hasn't received your gift from the webinar, please stay in touch with the person that invited you and I will resend. The mail hasn't been optimum and I did actually miss one person with a adaptive that I was supposed to send out, but she reminded me this morning. But if I make you a promise that I'm sending you something, I'm sending you something. So be sure to let me know. So, okay, nothing from my sister yet. All right, so what I'd like to do today, aside from welcoming you, is I'm going to introduce the leaders that are on this webinar. So Jennifer is my frontline leader and we are the Bear Essential team. And then she has a team called the Oil Slingers. And then Stephanie also is my frontline leader. And Nicole and Kimberly are leaders on Jennifer's team. Ami is under Nicole. And then we have Michelle, who is beneath Hannah, I believe. I don't see Hannah today. You know, I think we had Hannah written down to do something. So we'll certainly fill in if she doesn't show up, correct? Somebody's got that for me, Nicole, since you volunteered, Hannah, you know, last. Monday, <laughs> look at her blinking her eyes. All right, and I'd like to set the expectations for this webinar. What this webinar is, is we have invited people who are new to oils and don't know what to do with them or who have enrolled with us and again, didn't know what to do with them, how to further use them and the third, yeah, Nicole, I'll, I'll do it, honey. I'll get you covered. Yes. The third one is if you are brand new and you've never heard of oils, and we hope to share a lot of powerful testimonials with you today, have fun, and we have some giveaways too, and we hope that you find benefit and value and learn something maybe that you haven't ever heard before or known before. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start with Nicole Delello. She's going to share with us three cool things about oils and safety information. So go ahead, Nicole. Wait, oh, before she starts, please. Lisa, can you hit yes. mute for everybody but Nicole, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Nicole, we can't hear you. Oh, I thought I unmuted myself. <laughs> I think he must have muted me again or something. Yes, because she asked me to mute all. It was the easiest way. Sorry, okay. Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So my name is Nicole Delello, and I'm going to share with you uh, the three cool things about oils. These are the basics about essential oils, just so everyone knows safety before we get started and get into the fun stuff. 
So there are three cool things that we like to share about essential oils. The first one is that they are safe. They're 100% natural and safe. There's no side effects or no, and no addictions. And if you're familiar with herbs, which some people are when they use natural remedies already, essential oils are really potent. So they're actually gonna be 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. And what they are is they're extracts from plants with amazing health benefits. doTERRA essential oils have something called certified pure therapeutic grade standard that they use. That means that the oils are pure and potent, which basically means they're grown in parts of the world where they grow best so that we get an oil that actually does what we want it to do and what you read about in books that it's going to do. And the oils perform time and time again. They're reliable. The second cool thing about essential oils is that they are effective. And they're often more effective than modern approaches to health problems. And that is because essential oils can do something called permeating our cell membranes. So if we think about a cell, our cells in our body, they're the most important thing that we wanna keep healthy in our body. If our cells are healthy, we're gonna be healthy. So our cells get attacked by a couple different things, especially during the winter season. And one of those bad guys attacks the outsides of our cells and the other bad guy goes into the inside. It can actually go into the inside of our cell and duplicate the DNA. And essential oils can help fight both of those guys. Whereas modern medications that you might get from your doctor, a lot of them are something called water-based. So they can't really get in and get those guys on the inside. They might do an effective job on the outside guys, but then also we know that they have side effects, which we just said essential oils don't have. So you're not gonna have those lingering effects of maybe poor gut health, um, you know, weakened immunity and other things like that. And then the third cool thing about essential oils is that they're affordable. So they're more affordable than traditional medical care. They end up being pennies per dose because a bottle of essential oils, the full size has about 250 drops and a typical dose of using essential oils for your average um, need is going to be about one to two drops. You don't really need that much because like we said, they're potent and they're pure. Um, our family saves hundreds of dollars a year in medical costs. I would say your average family, if you're using natural solutions and with essential oils like doTERRA included in there, you can combat about 80 to 85% of the things that come up for your family just by knowing what to use and having it at your fingertips. So um, a an acronym that my friend Ami <laughs> shared with me actually, that I like to, because she's a teacher, and a, a great way to remember these three cool things is to think of the word C, so S-E-A. So they're safe, they're effective, and they're affordable. So those are the three cool things about oils. Now, does anybody have any questions? Do we want to take questions or should I just move on? So go ahead and tell us some safety things okay. that we need to know. So safety tips would be... Oh, wait, Nicole, please forgive me. Somebody does have their hand up. iPad 3 has their hand oh. up. I just noticed that. Would you like to unmute yourself and ask your question? Uh, hello. Hello. Is that my sister? <laughs> it is. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had the first time on Zoom. I downloaded it. I, yeah. So I made it in the nick of time, but I didn't get my video up. So hello. Hi, Holly. This is I my was, sister, Holly, everybody. Yes, Go Holly. ahead. <laughs> I, I was trying to catch you before the meeting. So sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. No worries. I'm just glad to know you're here. I like to have a name behind iPad 3. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Welcome. My cousin is here too. Her name is Brenda. So it's family day for me. Anyway, nice. Nicole. Yeah, there's Brenda. Wahoo. <laughs> All right, Nicole, I'm going to mute my because hubby's printing. So I will mute myself again. 
Okay. So we're gonna go over just some basics about safety. One of the things like that we like to teach is when you use oils like that are considered um, hot, like oregano or peppermint, things that are going to maybe make you feel a little tingly on your skin or maybe a little bit warm and uncomfortable, you want to use fractionated coconut oil or any carrier oil to um, dilute it if you get it in a sensitive part of your body. For instance, if you accidentally rub your eye after applying peppermint, you might feel burning and discomfort. It's not going to make you blind or anything. You just maybe want to get that oil to help because you're going to be crying some tears for a little while. So go to your kitchen, get an oil and just rub it in there and drop some in there and then it'll wipe it away. And then you can use the water next. Don't go grab water first, which is our natural instinct because it'll actually make it worse. And the dilution idea is if you're gonna use those, some of those oils on your skin, especially oregano or like On Guard 2, which has some warming oils like cinnamon, you wanna just dilute, which is just adding some of that coconut oil when you're adding it to your skin, what that does is it makes the sensation less. So you're not gonna feel that discomfort, but it's not gonna take away any of the benefits. So you're still gonna get those same benefits. And it also actually increases absorption for your body. So you'll get more benefits because it's gonna be lingering there longer and, and helping your body. So um, does that cover everything for safety, I think, right? Yep, I think so. Did you mention what kind of carrier oil they should run to their kitchen for? Any food safe oil, so you can use coconut oil, olive oil, um, sunflower, sunflower oil. Can you use sunflower? Yeah. yeah. Any oil, just because the essential oils are oil based, so you need an oil carrier to kind of carry it away. And I know in, you know, if you didn't have any oil, you could use milk in a pinch, but oils are the first thing you want to turn to. Yes, you all may be familiar with eating jalapenos. And at least when I was growing up, the first thing I did was toss glasses of water down. Did that ever help? Or did it seem to intensify and make it worse? Yes, why is that? Because oil and water don't mix. Water actually ends up being a driver. So in the case of jalapeno, if you don't have a carrier oil handy, get some milk. Like Nicole was saying, that's a really great um, diffuser. Did, is that the right word, diffuser, for the oil? No, you're shaking Diluter? Your head. Diluter. See, I, I always need help from my friends with my words these days. Good heavens. So anyway, Nicole, thank you so much. Funny story. Uh, I was in the back of a car on the pass coming from Utah because we go to convention there back to California. And I love our cinnamon. Cinnamon is my favorite. I like to use it like a red hot. So here's what Lisa did in the back of the car. She put a drop of cinnamon in the palm of her hand, stuck it on her tongue, and then went and screamed for like 10 minutes in the back seat. So may I recommend if you're going to carry cinnamon, Please don't be without dilution so you don't have to cry and scream in the back seat of the car, okay? <laughs> Just remember when you use oils, if there are things like peppermint and hot oils and things, you just don't want to rub your eyes. So have a carrier nearby. That's the only thing that I would add. There's some other funny stories, but we're not going to go there now. Oh, one other thing about safety that I always love to throw in when I'm doing a class or a webinar. Oregano is a natural antibiotic. Now doTERRA oils are pure and you can actually ingest them. So if you use oregano, just like any other antibiotic, don't use it for any longer than two weeks. After two weeks, your body needs a rest. Otherwise it has a potential to do harm in your body. So make sure that you make a note of that and write it down, okay? That's the only other thing that I like to throw in. All right, so next we have the facilitator, Ami, 
Hayashi, is that how you say your last name? Oh, I did it right. Wahoo! Yeah. Ami is going to share with us about stress. She's going to be our first sharer on stress. So Ami, go ahead. Okay, so my background is that I used to be into natural health solutions, like herbs and things like that. And I've been using essential oils, it was basically just peppermint for over 15 years. But um, I started using doTERRA for stress. I thought I'd give it a try because the other things that I've used didn't help. So, okay, I used to be the queen of stress, but now I've lost my crown thanks to doTERRA, okay? Yay! So I had, so I had actually adrenal fatigue, which is poor stress response. And um, I'm going to tell you about all the products that I have used. But when I started using these products and I felt it, for me, it happened in layers. I'd use one product, now I feel good. And then I'd try another one and I feel really good. But when I felt great, that was when I decided to sell doTERRA oils because I wanted to help other people. And when, when friends tell me that they're really stressed and everything, then my ears go up and it's like, hey, I know a solution for that. So what I use is the adaptive system. It's called, it's uh, comprised of three products, which is the ca adaptive capsules. And that supports healthy re emotional responses to everyday stressors. And the thing, it also reduces mental physical strain, which is what I really needed help with. So I take that every day to have that support. And then when I know something's coming up, you know, I know something is like, I'm gonna have to make a difficult phone call. It's gonna last an hour or so. Then I whip out my, <laughs> I do, I get ready before that. And I use my adaptive roller and I whip that out and I put that on before I, I do the phone call. And that is actually a complementary blend to the caps, which is uh, doTERRA listed as a solution to stressful moments or being on edge. So that has really helped me. And then the third component of the adaptive system, which is you know the uh, three pack, is the adaptive oil. And so I diffuse that with orange and especially like if I have tension, like tension in my body. And, and so I'll do that and then I'm okay. Mm -hmm. But I also use, I also use past tense, which I love, that's my new favorite. And this is, uh, let's see, it's grounding and balanced emotions. Mm. So what I do is I, what I found, what's really good is I take it out and I put it on the, I start out with putting it on the back of my neck and then I go, oh, I'm just going to put it on my shoulders right here. And then after a few seconds, the mint in there, the wintergreen and the peppermint, it starts cooling off my muscles. So I get a double benefit out of this. I, this is my favorite thing now. <laughs> and then I still... Like I said, you know, I have a lot of things that I need to work on. So sometimes I'll be kind of like short of breath because I, I don't relax. And so what I do is I take out my, um, my breathe vapor stick and I just put that on my chest right here. And I love it because, um, you know, the fumes go up and I can smell it. And then before I know it, see right now you can see I have no hesitation to using any of these right now in front of you because I need them. <laughs> but like I said, you know, any little thing used to just tip my, my stress crown, you know, like any kind of stressor. But now I, I just use this stuff every day. And I'm really, um, oh, I have to mention one more thing. I take the Long Life Vitality Supplement Pack, which has um, their uh, different capsules. And it's basically the primary benefits there are so many, but part of that is stress management. And it also uh, helps with nervous, the nervous uh, health, cardiovascular, respiratory, digestive. So it's general wellness and vitality. So when I used all these, like when I started the lifelong vitality, that took away another layer. And that was when I really felt good. And I, I thank my upline, Nicole, because you know, when you take the oils, when you start uh oh, did you freeze? 
We'll give her a second. Darn, I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, there she is. Yay, Omi, you came back. Oh, did what? Where did oh, I leave off? Where you froze was how lifelong vitality was changing things for you. You talked about the different capsules and yeah. Did I say like stress management and things like that? What yes. it's good for? Okay, yes. so I was just, the, I was just short. I was just saying that when I added lifelong vitality to my other things that I use for stress, that is what sealed the deal. And that's when I decided to sell doTERRA essential oils because I just felt so great. I love it. Yeah, I love so it. this is the end of my portion. Okay. One of the things that um, Ami is sharing with you is we have a very powerful supplement and it has a 30 day guarantee. So if you don't feel increased energy, if you don't feel an overall sense of wellness, you can return it. No questions asked. When I got started in the company, it was less than 1% of the people ever returning it. And it is a powerful tool. I don't know if, if you all noticed, but I'm a little older, but because of lifelong vitality, my hair is awesome and I color it. So there you go. <laughs> I don't have those split ends and things that I used to have when I had a lack of nutrition in my diet. And that's another thing that I would like to share is our lifelong vitality is not so much a vitamin as much as it is a whole food supplement. So the things that we are depleted of in our nutrition, lifelong vitality comes alongside and supports and feeds our cell and our systems. It's just, it's amazing. Thank you, Ami. That was wonderful. So Nicole, I have you down for modeling something for us regarding stress at this time. She's giggling. Uh, I'm giggling because I thought that I lost that spot in the team call. So I don't have my oil in front of me. I have to go run and get it. You know what? I can do it. Don't worry. I can no, I can't because I'm supposed to take the last part. So nope, you run and get it. Okay. And you show us what you do. She's stressed now. Watch what Nicole does while she's stressed. <laughs> Jennifer, didn't you have something that you were going to no, you're in the sleep. Never mind. Shh. Quiet. <laughs> do you want me to add anything? I've got lots of stuff on stress. You know, that would be wonderful. If you wanted to, while we wait for Nicole, because she's going to show us how to practice. Oh, here she is. She's back. <laughs> then we'll let you share too. That's fine. Was Jennifer going to share something or did you want me to talk? We're waiting for you. You oh. ran away to get something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I saw Jennifer was unmuted, so I thought she was talking. Um, mine is a very simple example of what I do when I'm stressed. This is something that, um, <clears throat> Jennifer taught me kind of, she taught, this is an oil that is a daily oil. It's called balance. And I lovingly refer to it as my mommy timeout oil because I use it when I need a mommy timeout. You know, those moments where you want to scream or you know you're going to do something that like say something or act a certain way, you know, you shouldn't, <laughs> then you go give yourself a timeout and get your balance. <laughs> and I put a drop of it in my hand. Balance is our grounding blend. So it has lots of different oils in it that help ground us. And then I just rub it between my hands to get the molecules happy and warmed up. And then I cut my hands around my face and I just take like three or four deep breaths and try to ground myself and calm myself. Mm -hmm. And when I'm in that moment, I literally feel like everything go down, like that stress just drain kind of and go down and I feel in a better place. And then I'm able to like go out and continue momming. <laughs> so I think um, Nicole has children from the oldest, I believe, is a teenager now, 13. Is that right? All the way down to, is it six or seven? 
My oldest just turned 14, actually. 14? Oh, okay. And my youngest is five. Five. Okay. And so she has four total children. Yes. And I believe she has how many girls and boys is it? Is it two and two? Yes. Yes. Okay. Two and two. So yes, that I love that. I'm we're going to coin that and make a meme. Mommy's time out oil. Is that all right with you, Nicole? <laughs> That's great. Jennifer, another mommy who also has four children, teenager down to baby. Go ahead and share with us about your stress protocol. Well, Nicole just gave it away. She shared my secret weapon. And actually what's really interesting is moms aren't the only people that get stressed. Our kids get stressed out too. Have yeah. you experienced your child like incapable of controlling themselves? That's from stress. And I notice it's really bad when it's like, okay, guys, we got to get stuff done. We got to pick up our toys. Like they get really overwhelmed. And so I do the same thing with them with the balance. I have so many videos of my three-year-old thrashing on the floor, screaming, using balance. And a few minutes later, he's fine. So use that oil on your kiddos and balance is something that should be used every day because it supports your neurological system. So getting it on your kids on the bottoms of their feet a few times a day, make it a consistent habit is going to just help sort the pieces in the brain that are feeling a little cluttered all the time. That's all excellent. right. Excellent. And you don't have to dilute this one. It's good to go the way it is. We call that in oil world neat. You can just put it directly on your skin. So if you delve into essential oils with us, that's a term that you're going to need to know because that's in most of the literature. When you're reading about essential oil, it will say neat or it will say add carrier or it will say use caution, right? Especially with kids like cinnamon. I'm an adult, okay? Cinnamon on kids, danger, danger, red light. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you're an adult, Lisa? It depends on what day it is. <laughs> All right. So next, what I would like to do, I think I pulled it up in the background here. No, I pulled it up on my phone. We are not just one trick ponies in here. What we have learned over the last eight years, I've been doing doTERRA for eight years now, is not only how to use natural alternatives to support my health and wellness, but there are also practical things that we can do in our lives to relieve stress. So, oh great, hubby's using the printer again. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up quickly a list of how many things was it? Ways to de-stress in 10 minutes or less. And these are, there are 10 things here. So can you hear me all right with the printer going? So sorry about that. All right, number one, take a walk. Number two, listen to uplifting music. Number three, dance. Number four, journal. Number five, list 10 things you're grateful for. Number six, can you stop printing for a while, please? Thank you. <laughs> Look at a happy picture. Number seven, do jumping jacks. Unless you're 59, then figure something else out. <laughs> We've talked about this before. We'll probably have another webinar about incontinence or something down the road. Okay, number eight, punch a pillow. Number nine, ground and focus on the space around you. And number 10, take slow, deep breaths. So, oh, thank you. Kimberly typed all of that up in the chat. Thank you, Kimberly. Also, I believe everybody who came to the webinar gets a copy of the recording too. So if you don't catch it here because the chat disappears, then please come back and re-listen. Maybe we'll be entertaining to you too if you have to hear it again. So, <laughs> all right. So next, I want to introduce Stephanie. 
Stephanie Broughton is going to be our facilitator for sleep. So here we go. Go ahead, Stephanie. Hi. Can't hear you. There you are. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. So using oils for sleep is actually what brought me to doTERRA. Um, I have seven children from 20 down to two. So one of my younger ones wasn't sleeping well at all, and I couldn't figure it out. She was waking up multiple times a night, um, not just waking up, but really stressed out, um, not doing well at all. Hey, so I was introduced to wild orange, and wild orange can be very uplifting, but it also um, has can have a sedative effect, and it really helped her to calm down at night, um, settle down, and go to sleep. And then if she woke up, we would just reapply, and she you know kept, would sleep a little longer. Um, but she was still waking up four, five, six times a night. Um, so this really helped to calm her down and to recalm each time she woke up. Once um, I realized that she was extremely sensitive to EMF pollution, we started turning off the Wi-Fi at night. She started sleeping completely through the night without waking up at all. But That's we big deal. To help her settle down, um, to be able to get to sleep at night. Sorry about that. <laughs> so wild orange was what sealed the deal for me as far as doTERRA. So fast forward a few years and I have another one who's two and now not sleeping all night. <laughs> so we use um, the calmer in the children's blend and also adaptive. Adaptive is probably one of my absolute favorites. So that one really helps her calm down at nap time and at bedtime and helps her sleep. She'll still wake up maybe once a night. And so we just reapply, we diffuse it at night and it's amazing. That's it's awesome. good for me too. I need sleep too. <laughs> I can't sleep if so, they're not sleeping. So Stephanie, can we ask on the littles, where do you apply it? On the littles, I, on my littlest, I usually apply on the back of the neck okay, and the bottoms of her feet and down her spine. Awesome. Um, you use the, the roller children's top. one is diluted, is very diluted. And so I can use that all over, but sometimes the like adaptive smells amazing, but it's a little strong for her. So I'll put it in places where she'll get the benefit, but maybe not have to smell it so strong. That's awesome. And I do diffuse it in our bedroom. Cool. It's great. I love it. Awesome. And it helps. Does it help the mommy? Is it like, you know, a mommy timeout too? When you <laughs> and I use my balance. I keep that with me all the time and I roll the kids. <laughs> if you don't stop, you're going to get oiled. Or you're going to get oiled anyway. So <laughs> yeah, love you it. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Okay. Sorry. So after Stephanie, I have the DIY modeler for sleep to be Kimberly, Kimberly Green. So go ahead, Kim. Hello. So I'm going to be showing you a DIY roller ball for sleep. And I already started adding the oils because it needs 20 of each one. Oh, okay. So let me tell you what we're putting in it. So the first one you put in there is bergamot, 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 depending on if you want to speak French. <laughs> um, bergamot is um, great for insomnia. It's a sedative and it's helpful for sadness, which is something I'm going through right now. Yes. Uh, another one is frankincense. So it's going to be 20 of each of these. Frankincense is also good for sadness, for mood, uh, focus, and connection. And then Roman chamomile is good for sleep, insomnia, it's a good sedative, and it's good for panic, it's good for crying. <laughs> so I've been using this one a little bit. And oh, also Roman chamomile reminds you of your spiritual purpose. That's awesome. Then the last one is vetiver, and I've taken 
um, your oils all come with this little dropper orifice on the top, but vetiver tends to be a little thick. So I got a dropper to help me put that in here because it was gonna take forever for me to get 20 drops out and put it into my dropper bottle. So let me roll that in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then after we get the vetiver in there, you top it off. And since I'm traveling, I put my fractionated coconut oil in here. And fractionated coconut oil is coconut oil they've taken the fat out of, so it's always a liquid. So you just fill up the rest of the bottle to the neck and you put your roller ball top on. And I actually, um, a lot of times I will reuse if I have an immortel or an empty roller ball of any kind, peel off that label, get a little wild orange on there to get the sticky off, put something new in there. But vetiver is also good for sleep and insomnia, anxious feelings, irritability, restlessness, tension. So where do you put this? Once you have this in here, I just kind of give it a little twist like this to blend everything. And then you can put this just like uh, Stephanie was saying where to put it on littles. You can use it just like that for yourself. You can put it on the feet, especially your big toe because the big toe has uh, reflexology points in your head. So it helps the brain to kind of relax and helps the you, when you go to bed, you ever have those thoughts that cycle and cycle. It helps to slow those down so you can focus on sleeping. You can also put them over your heart. And over your heart, it's not anything weird. You just put it right, you know, on your decolletage right there. <laughs> and the last way you can use it is roll it right on your palms. Put my lid off again. Roll it on your palms like this. You're going to rub it together. And then inhale deeply and whatever remnant you have on your hands, you can roll it right onto your pillow. Love it. This one's called hibernation. So if you need that list again, it's bergamot, frankincense, Roman chamomile, and vetiver. Thank you, Kim. So a few of you wouldn't know, but Kim recently lost her father and she is taking time to be with us today. And I know she's had waves of grief. He was around a good long time. So we keep, we keep her in our prayers. And I just wanna thank you for taking the time to join us today, Kim. And your beautiful smile smiling at us. Thank you. Okay, so I have Michelle Zorn next on my list to share on sleep. Are you available, Michelle? And yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. Hang on, you Woohoo! I'm driving, so it's a little crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, talk about stress day. We just got finished at the ER. This lovely little lady broke her foot. So <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to give a testimonial. I wanted to hop on and, and tell you all about what has really helped our family. Um, both sides of our family have a history of mental health issues. And so stress can really um, compound the symptoms of mental health disorders. And so what we have discovered with doTERRA products is that taking adaptive, somebody earlier mentioned, I think Ami mentioned that she takes adaptive every day. She takes the capsule every day and nobody has mentioned yet Serenity soft gel. Mm -hmm. So in combination, we take these to get deep sleep, restorative style sleep, because your body has a rhythm where it restores itself when you're sleeping. This is why babies sleep so much. This is why when you're sick, you need to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, also, that is one of the very first things that our mental health care providers say, get into a regular pattern of sleep. It's important that you get sleep. 
because sleep helps you handle stress. When you're not getting enough sleep, you're not handling stress like you have the ability to do. So I just wanted to share my protocol, and that is that I take Adaptive every morning, and I take Serenity Soft Gels every night to sleep. When it's been a really rough day, probably today, <laughs> I will take two Serenity Soft Gels. I try not to do that every night because <clears throat> that I need to get up in the morning. <laughs> we have to start the next day. But um, Serenity Soft Gels have been a favorite for my husband and I. He takes, actually, Adaptive and Serenity both at night. And he can tell a huge difference when he doesn't have his nighttime pills, as he calls them. And so just to give you an idea of when we take those nighttime pills, it would be about 30 minutes before you're ready to go to bed, trying your very best to keep that on a regular schedule. If you're going to bed at 10 o'clock, take it at 930. If your bedtime is not a regular bedtime, you're probably not handling your stress like you can. Empower yourself and get on a regular bedtime. That is really wise, Michelle. Yeah, I don't have a regular bedtime. Does anybody here have a regular bedtime? Yeah, mine's usually midnight, but I've learned, <laughs> I've learned it has to be earlier. Okay, well, I do better than you. I have a terrible habit of watching something. As soon as I turn something on and I go this way on the couch, I'm gone, five minutes. And so it varies anywhere between 8 p.m. and 9.30, seriously, if I turn on the TV. If I have something to do, I can stay up until 10 or 11. So, but yeah, I'm one of those quick lights out. It's the Mm, of the TV or something. I don't know. It's just like, it's like serenity, but it's not. And it's not as good for me either. So. <laughs> oh, thank you, Michelle. That was an awesome testimony. I love those two products. And in fact, when we get to the end here, you will be pleasantly surprised. I, I have some things I'm going to give away. So Jennifer, you shared that you had something you wanted to to say about sleep. Yeah, I really am glad that Michelle talked about the importance of a bedtime routine because society tells us to take drugs to help us sleep, right? And one of the most common ones is melatonin, which is a hormone. Well, when we add hormones to our body that are not natural, we're messing with the natural hormones. And so we end up messing up our normal melatonin production. Hmm. So a bedtime routine is really important, especially when it's the same time every night. We do it for our kids, right? Or we should. We yeah. should be doing it for ourselves. And so starting at least an hour before we want lights out and eyes closed is when we want to start that routine. We want to low light. Melatonin is something that's released when the lights come low. That's what activates it. That's why people always go to bed a lot earlier when it's uh, when they're out camping. Have you guys noticed that? No one stays up late. Um, and so the things that we do naturally to reduce stress and bring in calm and relaxation is going to help promote that as well. So on the, the thread of sleep, she talked about serenity soft gels. I was going to talk about them too, but I don't need to as much because she covered a lot, but um, I will just give a testimony for myself. So my youngest is three and I, I love kids, but I don't have that joy in infancy because my kids don't sleep well. I remember and so that. with Sam, he would often, most nights I woke up hourly. Sometimes I remember some nights it seems like he woke up every 20 minutes and I am not exaggerating. It was bad. So between the lifelong vitality, really good skincare uh, with the Virage and then Serenity soft gels. Like I woke up feeling rested with all those wakings in the middle of the night. And I can remember, he's my number four, and I can remember all day long, even though I'm not getting sleep, I never felt like I needed to crash. As were with my other kids, I would have these moments where I just was like, I can't do anything. I am so exhausted. 
And so I was so grateful for the Serenity soft gels. The other thing, because everyone knows I like science, I wanna talk about some science with this particular one. So when you look at the ingredients, you'll see it doesn't have Serenity essential oil in it, but they call it Serenity soft gels because it does similar things. But its main ingredient is something called L-theanine, which is actually an herb that contains amino acids. And so L-theanine actually boosts levels of GABA. So when you partner it with the adaptive soft gels, which also have GABA in it, the two work really well together. So these two partner, whether you're trying to get better sleep at night, maybe you're overcoming um, mental uh, health issues, whether you have like an anxiousness in the night or um, even, um, I had it on the tip of my brain. Oh, if you're dealing with trauma or grief, like these things help. So L-theanine actually elevates levels of GABA. So add GABA, elevate them as well as serotonin and dopamine. And when we are serving those two well, and they're behaving appropriately inside of our brain, it can be a very magical thing for our health and for our sleep. Um, so this is actually going to help our brain regulate things like emotions, mood, concentration, alertness and sleep, and appetite, energy, and other cognitive skills. So this isn't just about getting good sleep. This is about getting excellent sleep and the kind of sleep that your body needs to actually go into reparative mode every night like it's supposed to. The other thing I really love about the Serenity Soft Gels is it lowers levels of excit excitatory brain chemicals. This is amazing for your kids. If they can swallow these, this is like one of the best things you can give them. And one of the things I love incorporating both the Serenity Soft Gels and the, and the Adaptive Oil is to my kids that take hours to fall asleep. Who has kids that take for hours to fall asleep? Like you're constantly putting them back in bed or they flop around and they get frustrated because they can't fall asleep. Or maybe it's you. Can you turn your brain off at night? Sometimes we can't turn our brain off at night and we're thinking about things from the day or the next day. So these things are actually going to help you with those things. And you can take them about 30 minutes before you want to do lights out. So Jennifer's tip, give them to your kids, low light, bedtime stories. We always like to do a gratitude conversation as well and in the night with prayers. And then for myself, once they're asleep, I go in my room and I start my routine of my skincare, brush my teeth, Low lights. If you need to put a lamp in your bathroom, do that. Low lights in the bedroom. Sit and read a book for a few minutes or journal some gratitude. Do something that's going to lower your stress and bring you out of scarcity and into growth. And then these oils are actually going to partner well with that. So that's my thing. So you may not get as much sleep. So if you find yourself staying up till midnight like Michelle, like, and I do the same thing, and you have to get up at six o'clock in the morning, you can get good quality of sleep in a short amount of time, but your body needs to shut down a lot faster. And so by using these supplements and these essential oils, your body can get to that shutdown mode a little bit faster and you wake up feeling better. Love it. Yes, Jennifer, can you just briefly tell us again the oils you're talking about? Is that the Serenity and Adaptive? Serenity soft gels, and then we use adaptive on the bottoms of the feet. I diffuse adaptive in the bedroom with orange. I love orange. It's my favorite oil to put with everything. And so Stephanie, you had mentioned that adaptive is a little strong. I really encourage you to put that orange with it because I myself find it a little strong too, but when you put orange with it, it's usually a lot milder. Good to know. Jennifer is my favorite science geek. Isn't that great? <laughs> What I would like to share is what about we who fall into an in-between category? So I'm thinking as I'm listening to you that taking those capsules might help me from getting interrupted sleep because the yeah, and that's is I wake up in the middle of the night and sometimes will be awake for an hour or two, not every night, but it happens. So 
Go ahead, Jen. Yeah, so that's actually where diffusing them is going to be really helpful. And I don't have that issue because I've been taking these. I do um, Serenity Soft Gel, Copaiba, and On Guard Soft Gel. So those three every night before I go to bed, I never wake up. Of course, okay. last night the cat got on my nightstand and dumped a whole glass of water off the side. That woke me up. <laughs> But um, I don't wake up at night unless some child comes and gets me, but um, it's, it's totally worth it. And I don't wake up feeling like I got like a little bit of sleep. Like, has that ever happened to you? Like, it actually yeah. feels like I got the amount of sleep that I was supposed to. Okay. Oh, and then another trick is using an alarm. If you have an alarm, not on your phone, get that phone away from your head when you're sleeping, but use, get one of those alarms, they call them sunrise alarms, where they're a low light that slowly gets brighter. And then it's got soft music that slowly gets louder. That actually takes you out of a sleep in a much healthier way. So it's not jarring and it allows you to feel more rested and not like your cortisol is elevated when you have a regular alarm. Wow. So it's called a sunlight alarm? Sunrise. Sunrise alarm. Okay. I think that's what I call it. It looks like a little sun. It's a circle and it's this really soft orange and it slowly gets brighter and brighter. Okay. I'd love to get that because every morning when Barry's alarm goes off at five or five 30, it's like, ah, and I'm up. That's the end of any sleep pattern for me. So that sounds great. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, I'm going to be really mindful, as mindful as I can of your time. We went to an hour, even though we cut it to two topics already. So what I would like to do quickly is I'm going to share my screen. And I need to have that thing move out of the way. The first thing that I'm going to show you and say to you is whoever invited you to today's webinar, please get back to them and they will help you with whatever kind of protocol or, you know, like some of you came today because you have stress and sleep issues. They can help you with that. But again, we're not one trick ponies. If there are other health issues in your life that you would like to address, please shout out to the person that invited you. And they asked me to show you, we have, this is a kit that is a limited, excuse me, time offer for December. I believe it disappears in January. And as you can see, it has all of the oils we talked about today that are really hard or hit, heavy hitters for stress. So you've got in this kit, and I guess my arrow isn't gonna work here. Oh, there it goes, okay. Adaptive, roll on. Adaptive soft gels that Jennifer, Michelle, and even Kimberly, I believe, talked about. And then we have balance for the mama's time out is in this kit. And one of the special things is this tiny little balance deodorant. Those come in these little mind and mood. We have mind and mood. We have relief for people who go to the gym, sore and achy muscles, just all kinds of wonderful things that are available. These are only available for after you've enrolled. So if there are some of you in this group who are enrolled with me, but you've never set up your LRP, or if you're enrolled with somebody else, that's a loyalty rewards program. And you can get on these little monthly kits and they come with special things that you can't normally get. So talk to the person who invited you about that as well. The other oils in here are peppermint, clove, lemon, and Northern Escape, which is currently one of my favorites. I use it with Siberian fur. I'm gonna close this real quick so that you can see. This kit also has a, is it called a La, La Luz? Sorry, I opened it again. Is that right? <clears throat> Ladies, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. Yes, La Luz Diffuser is included as well in this kit. 
and they will send you a magazine that is amazing. Tons of testimonies, recipes, and all kinds of things. So that is for this month only. And the price, if you become a member with doTERRA, is $160. And this is for people who are new and who are wanting to enroll. I see that chat going off. Is there any questions? No, Kimberly's typing the information in for everyone. Gotcha. Okay. So there should be another window that I have open here and I'm not seeing it. It must have, there it is. Okay. So before we go here, first, I want to invite those of you that are still with us. If you are interested in seeing the business presentation, I would love to take a few extra minutes to share it with you. It takes about I don't know, at the most 10 minutes to go through this presentation. But before we get there, what I want to ask is, and I have a prize for people who will ask, I have adaptive and balance oil that I would like to give away in a 5 8 millimeter dram. So I will pour in here 30 drops of each of these fantastic oils and you get to choose either adaptive or balance but I just want to take a minute let me stop sharing for a second because I can't see y'all how do I stop that share I always am so a mess on this here we go Jennifer help me with my techno challenge there we go what do you I need from me Nothing I can't now. access your computer. I figured here. it out. I know. I know. What I wanted to ask was, did you learn anything new that you didn't know? And for those of you who are new or it's the second time you've come, that's fine. That's who the giveaway is for. So please share away. You have to unmute yourself. But if you share and you say, I want adaptive or I want balance, you're going to get it. So ready? Anyone? Beverly? Yeah, Beverly. I am. Okay. Well, I didn't I couldn't get on till the end, but I did get on and um I was interested in the part where uh, was it Veronica was telling about the the feet and the serenity and the orange and how effective they were for her and that got to my attention very quickly because I know mommy has been telling me about the serenity for my mom who has a problem sleeping. So, and she does put that on the bottom of her feet. So awesome. that was awesome, Beverly. So what would you like? Would you like a five ML of adaptive or a five ML of balance? The balance. Cause I don't have the balance. All righty. Then you're going to you, get it. Could you tell me a little bit about the balance? The balance is a grounding oil. It's similar to it it would be like if you went outside barefoot and you walked on the grass uh -huh. that's what it does is it it brings you into balance and okay. there's so just like this yeah yeah there's something about like walking through the grass and stuff i know there's a scientific term that probably jennifer knows but i am not the science geek my bestie friend over here is so do you know anything about the science of grounding. So it's all neurological and grounding just really comes from a place of where your, all of your nerves in the bottoms of your feet mm -hmm. are connected to different parts of your body. Okay. And so since balance is so good at connecting the nerves and helping them to be more functional, that's gonna help the rest of your body feel more um, like inline. Grounding also feels a lot like just getting more oxygen. That's really what it is. If you're gonna go science on it, grounding isn't necessarily a, um, you know, an energetic thing always. It just usually means that your blood has better flow and oxygen in it. And if you're ever curious, do a little Google search on YouTube for balance 
blood oh. video and you'll see the difference between the blood before balance and the blood after your blood cells are very happy with balance in their lives okay yeah. thank you thank you okay thank you beverly we'll make sure thank to get that out all right thank you anybody else nobody else has oh pam Okay, you're not new, but since you raise your hand, I will go ahead and, and no, give you I a gift. I just want to say, I didn't know Serenity gel caps didn't have Serenity in them. <laughs> I've been taking them and I had no idea. I think they smell like Serenity when I open the bottle, but um, I don't need to win anything. I just, you know, that was new to me. <laughs> That's great. You know, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know until Jennifer said something either. We're all well, learning. Yeah, we are. The only are. essential oil that's in the soft gels is lavender. All the rest is herb or flower. Well, herbs and flowers, so. Right, right. Okay, so I wanna thank you all for joining us. If you have to go, you are free to go ahead and leave. If anybody wants to hang with me for another 10 minutes. Oh, two things before you go. The other thing that I wanted to tell you is that if one of you goes back to the person that invited you, oh, here they are. There was a BOGO that we had last month and I have some extras and it was by Northern Escape, get Siberian fur for free. I discovered that Siberian fur is a huge stress reliever. So if any of mm. you enroll with 100 PV or more, which the person who invited you will explain, it's typically $100. But every once in a while, PV mm. and dollars aren't equal. If you do that, I will send you this Siberian Fur and Northern Escape. Um, together, they are a powerhouse. I have been loving diffusing them. In fact, I forgot to turn on the diffuser right behind me, which has them in it. And something about the fur trees, you know, it's like taking a walk in the woods. It really relaxes you. It's really okay. nice. So there's that. Okay, so that's good. And then anyone who wants to stay for the business presentation, another 10 minutes is all I'll keep you. Just hang on and I'll yep. roll it for you. Okay, otherwise, Stephanie, thank you. Nicole, Ami, Jennifer, Michelle, all of you, Kimberly, that participated. No, yeah, I got everybody, didn't I? Yeah, in putting on this webinar today, I'm just really grateful for all of you. Thank you so much. And be free, little birds. Be free. Bye. Are you going, Holly? Or are you staying? Are you there anymore? I'm here. No, I'll, I'll hang on. Okay. Yay. <sighs> Look, we still have all these people. Kim, are you staying? You want to stay. Okay. Nicole, you're staying. <laughs> Ami and Beverly are staying. Okay. Here we go. Going back to share. And let's get started. Oops. I always hit share when I'm supposed to hit, sorry, present. Know that Lisa is techno challenged, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the joy of sharing oils. I need to bring you all up to the side here. Here we go. So why doTERRA, why now? doTERRA is the largest essential oil company in the world. It's the most tested, most trusted oils in the market, used by doctors and hospitals worldwide ethically and sustainably sourced. We work directly with the farmers. There are 120 plus markets open. We're an international company. The compensation plan is genius. We have a high retention rate of 65% customer loyalty. We're a privately owned company with an incredible ownership team 
and we are debt free with no outside funding. I love that. This is some of the members of my team. I love this picture. It always makes me happy when I look at it, especially look at Kim. Isn't she so bright and shiny in there? <laughs> okay, questions you may have. How do I make money? How much time is involved? Could this work for me? And what is the next step? How do I make money? You sample. You teach like we did today, you enroll, and then you support. And this is where I always like to give a little shout out to Jennifer Davis. Jennifer Davis is running our continuing education. Our continuing education is a benefit of being a member and part of our team. And as you heard her share on the science today, she really delves into that. It's really wonderful to know why the oils do what they do and why they are so effective in our body. So that's a benefit that I wanna share with you. Income potential. So if you just want to get your oils for free and pay for your product, we call you a sharer in doTERRA and we absolutely love our sharers and what a sharer would look like depends on what you want to do with the oils you have the option to actually enroll people yourselves but if you do so i suggest that you talk to the person who enrolled you so that you can be effective in supporting them once they come into doTERRA Otherwise, if you would just like to refer people, for example, and I forgot to share this at the end, so at least I have it in the recording. Our next webinar is going to be January 8th, because for the rest of the month, most people are otherwise engaged with family and holidays and things like that. If you would send this link to people that you think would benefit from knowing about natural alternatives, health and wellness, and essential oils proper, please let us know. And then they will let us know who referred them. But you have to let us know that you're interested in sharing so that we can place those people beneath you. And then you have the potential to earn. So let's say, for example, you refer enough people to us that you are creating $3,000 in volume. Well, that will easily pay for your product at $365 a month. And then the next step is a premiere, which makes average about $939 a month. And then as you go up, you can get incomes that will supplement your income. So a silver is $22.96, a gold $48.75. Now in some places, that is income as a gold, as well as platinum. Platinums generally start with about $9,414 a month. That really is, in my opinion, an income but it depends on where you live and what sort of debt you've created. And if you have, please let's get out. Okay, we'll help you. <laughs> Next, um, the higher ranks, which completely replace and multiply your income. A diamond, which is what I am, is $16,814 a month. Blue diamond, twice that. Presidential diamond, $104,000 a month. And we actually know people in person who are doing this. So it is possible. Absolutely. So how much time is involved? If you want your oils paid for, it's three to five hours a week. If you want to supplement your income, it's five to 15 hours a week. And if you want to replace your income, it's 15 to 30 hours a week. Could this work for me? Are you passionate about oils? Do you love people? And can you follow a system and get things done? 
What is the next step? Do you have a wholesale account? Yes, upgrade and set up a $100 or PV LRP. No, choose a kit and set up LRP. Reach out for help. We will plug you into all of our training and resources. And then start making your list and sample everyone. This is so much fun. So lastly, the only thing keeping you from what you want is your story about why you can't have it. So if anybody is interested in talking any further, please get in touch with the person who referred you. And I'm saying this because this is a recording and you all will see this when it comes to your email box. So anyone who invited you, please get in touch with them after the webinar, okay? And finally, I believe that our next topic for the winter wellness webinar on January 8th, we have decided is digestion and weight loss. How many of us need to get moving after the holidays are over? <laughs> Even us, we went to a Hanukkah party last night and oh my goodness, I could not believe all the junk food they had there. I stay away from sugar for the most part. You would have been so proud of me. I did it last night too. So anyway, but yeah. All right. I think that's it. Thank you again, everybody. Holly, I'm so glad you were here and I'll be talking to you on the phone soon. Okay. I look I look forward to it. Thank you. It was okay. very informative. Thank you. Talk to you later, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Shalom.